Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to improve photos in Photoshop. So first of all I'm going to go up here to file and new. I'm going to make a new one. Um, let's do this 920 by 1080 because the, in pixels because that is every thumbnail. So be sure it's that. So the resolution should be on 300 pixels slash inch. This doesn't really matter but be sure it's an RGB color. It's like the best color type. And the background could also be transparent and everything but I like to put it on white. So then I'm going to go to OK. There we go, I'm going to zoom out one time because it's a little too big in my face. We can keep this background or layer, doesn't matter. I'm going to make it a layer for a second. There we go. And I'm going to place the wallpaper actually. It's a Battlefield 3 wallpaper. There we go. Just going to click on OK here. And what we want to do actually is this wallpaper already looks good, but it could uh, jump out even more. It could even look even better. So in order to do that, I'm going to be sure that this is selected. I'm going to go up to filter and go to camera raw filter. It'll load a second and bring up this window here. So here you have the first tab, which is the tab you're going to stay. It's the basic tab, which is this one. Uh, the other ones are a little bit even more in detail, but we don't need them right now at all, actually, because this will be more than enough. So what we're going to do first of all is exposure. We're going to put the exposure, um, just play with it because it changes from every image. So uh, every image is different and just going to see what looks best. Now, of course, we don't want too much exposure here because it's already a pretty light image. So I'm going to put it a little bit darker. Let's say 70 for 65. Yeah, no. Let's do like 80 for the moment. Let's do a little bit dark. Let's do 90 for the moment. Let's see. Contrast. As I said, just play around with it. As you can see, the contrast looks really good. If it's up and down, it will become like boring. So I'm going to put this way up. Let's see if all the way. And let's do 95. 95 is enough. 94 doesn't matter. Highlights. Um, I guess we want a little bit of them because in this image it goes well. But not too much. Let's just do a slight plus 5, I guess. That looks good. Shadows. Uh, let's see the shadows. We don't want that too much because it will become dark. And we don't want it to be too dark. So I'm going to do minus 5, I guess, in the shadows. Whites. What are going to whites do? Not a lot. Let's keep the whites at 0. There we go. The blacks also at 0, I guess. Um, now let's put this at minus 30, actually, because it adds to the darkness of the image, let's say. And then the clarity, uh, this one probably doesn't need to go up a lot. Um, but this image, it goes pretty well, actually. As you can see, but not too much, because, yeah, that would be too much, of course. So let's say that this one, um, let's see, between, what is too much? Too much is really starting from 60. So let's put it at 30, I guess. Um, yeah, it looks good. Um, maybe make a little bit changes here. Uh, you can, uh, at the end, if, you've, if you're done with your um, things, you can also add a little bit or change a little bit, you know. It can be like, oh, this is maybe a little bit more up or down. Let's put this at 70 in, instead of 90. Shadows a little bit down to minus 10. Those are just uh, raw examples, I eh, guess. These are just examples. And highlights maybe at plus 10. There we go, to, com to composite a little bit. But anyway, guys, this is it. Um, I think I'm done right now for this image. I don't need more for it. So I'm going to click on OK. And you can see the old image still and the new one right now. So you can, in, in a couple of seconds, you'll be able to see uh, the switch that it will make. So there we go. And bam. As you can see, it definitely improved. Uh, it's more colors, more... Uh, it jumps out more. And yeah, that is how you simply improve a photo. You can do this with a lot of wallpapers, photos, whatever you want. Uh, it makes it more HD. It looks it generally looks really good. So yeah, there you go, guys. It's really simple. Uh, the camera raw filter. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.